Welcome to the village. You are right here at District 5. You're hunting for three whole duplex penthouse that's below two and a half million, yet having a three bedroom. This, this, this might be the run for you. Follow Profiting Runs on this home tour. Let's go. Welcome penthouse lovers, so today is all about pricing because we need to show what is happening right now in the year 2022. I'm just going to list out all these criteria if you're hunting for something within this scope of specifications because the number of inventory right now in Singapore is dwindling, especially if you're hunting for something with at least three bedrooms with at least 1,400 square feet and at the same time, you're hunting for freehold slash triple nine years leasehold apartments and condominiums and you want to keep your quantum within the 2.5 million dollars but bring out the map of one of the most popular property portals in Singapore if you were to look at what is available in the market there's only less than 190 odd apartments available and before we talk more about this beautiful renovation that you see behind me with about $90,000 of renovation being pumped in just in the year 2016 and 2017 everybody know where District 5 is because District 5 is this beautiful plot of enclave and we're being known sort of like the NUS city right here because the entire D5 comprised of Clementi Pasir Panjang, One North Bona Vista. And these three regions right now have always been very popular, especially when our government announced two massive master plans that is in conjunction happening right now as we speak. One of our course the next 10 to 20 years Greater Southern Waterfront, but the most immediate one that's happening right now, it belongs to One North Bona Vista region because that is a silicon tech hub of Singapore. A lot of developments are happening right there. And just have a look at what is around me, I'll just bring it up to the balcony. You'll notice that right across this entire region, the high-rise buildings are all right towards the back and that is of course the entire NUS city right there. You also get to see some high-rise right there, that's the start point of Clementi. And once you cross over to the high-rise region, Sea Hill, trading at about $1,700 plus per square foot and that is for 99 years pricing. Village of Pasir Panjang, max level being 5 levels and the 6th level is your penthouse level. And we're going to talk about why penthouses are so rare and why is it worth to invest in something like this, especially if it's a freehold status. And we're going to chat more about penthouses today. Let's go. Firstly, penthouses are dwindling. Just have a look at the current new launches in the market. It sort of seems like developers have stopped building penthouses. I think it's because of the large quantum that they have to price in. If every launch right now that we see in terms of 99's project is spreading at about $2,200 per square foot. And now if you look at the latest trend, some of the mega penthouses that are being transacted, in projects, it seems that the penthouses PSF is vastly different from the normal units kind of PSF. Just have a look at these few examples of penthouses being transacted. They are usually transacted at least a thousand to two thousand dollars PSF higher than the normal units for some of the big mega launches. But what we notice in terms of the latest trend or some of the top level units is that developers have stopped building duplex penthouses. Most of the time, they are giving that kind of loft concept to the living and dining space, and that's all. And thus, if you're hunting for a duplex nature with this, your own internal staircase, this is going to be a rarity in years to come. Why are penthouses popular? The key rationale is because you have split level kind of concept and you are almost like buying two levels at one shot. And let me bring out the floor plan right here. Level one bears about 60 odd percent. Level two is close to about 40% of the entire floor plate. And on level one, this is of course the living dining, your beautiful balcony. You have two beds, common bath, enclosed kitchen, nice yard space. And the bonus is that you have this nice, beautiful fluted panel right behind me. This acts a little bit like a combination of your shoe cabinets. Right behind is actually a hidden home shelter at this direction and it's pretty deep you can store all your stuff right here and as you move upstairs that's where your roof patio is being located together with your main master room but most importantly this is really good to go it's a plug and play beautiful unit so i'm 
going to show a little bit about the space first. This has a nice long walkway foyer kind of concept. And uh, what our clients have done is to put in this nice entry foyer table. On the right hand side, there's a bifold door that leads you to an enclosed kitchen. So I would say that the services zoning is all tucked right towards the corner without affecting the living zoning. So having an enclosed kitchen, the key benefit is that you can close up and you can do very heavy cooking. And now clients, when they pump in $90,000 of renovation, this renovation has also qualified itself into some of the designer magazines as well. You can have a look at it right here. And you have two panels on your left and right hand side. Bottom oven by Bosch. You have a nice induction cooker with three burner system. Bloom system in terms of tracking and hinges. So you don't have like additional popping out handles attached to the cabinets. There's another bifold door here that leads you to a yard area. This is the space for you to put in your washer come dry. In fact, as we come back, if you look at the entire facade of village at Pase Panjang, it's almost a little bit like a black and white kind of nice colonial concept, very modern. The detail that we see in terms of constructing this project is that most of the time, ground floor basement is an added bonus because to dig the basement, the developer usually will invest more cost and time. This project gives you that basement parking throughout that links through all lobbies and that is a huge plus. At the same time, you also have nice beautiful glass function room as well as a gym. There's a pool plus sun deck concept and our clients have also done in like a solar film kind of system so that you maintain privacy but at the same time, you're also facing towards other low rise developers that doesn't really invade your privacy. So if you were to have a look at this space, this is of course the living plus dining zoning, 2.98 meters in terms of ceiling height. The space concept here is beautiful. You have a nice single load concept as well because we're just about right at stack number 16. And there are only 29 three bedroom penthouse here and one four bedroom penthouse. So out of 148 units, you're living in one of the 30 penthouses, which is already extremely rare. And the single load concept is a bonus because if you were to open up two sides of the windows, the cross van will come in beautifully. is the year that a lot of people are talking about increasing interest rate pricing as well as quantitative tightening that's happening in the US but Singapore in terms of GDP the projection for the rest of the year is still 3 to 5 percent according to our government's projection we think that in general because of the range of cooling measures we already have 12 rounds of cooling measures being priced into our price index and yet the prices are still growing healthily. One of the key reasons is because now Singapore has already attained the status of a safe haven with still stronger and stronger currency strength uh, that was just reported in August 2022. Importantly, the last fact that we noticed is that in the past recent years, close to 90 odd percent of private property buyers, they're actually Singaporeans ourselves. And thus, only 3% foreigners make up of the entire buying population. So Singapore is sort of like a self-supporting market and especially when you come to D5, you'll notice that on top of having million dollars HDB properties, the amount of BTO that's sprouting out in Clamity is also growing and increasing and the amount of land plots in terms of BTO has a direct correlation in terms of the HDB upgrading market when the owners hit their MOP period and they want to sell off the HDB and upgrade to something within the same enclave or district. This is of course an area that they will first look at even though stay close back to where they have came from. If we look at this in terms of per square foot kind of range, bearing in mind that you have 1,475 square feet, let's just take a look at the core difference when the market increased by about 100 to 200 dollars per square foot in the next five years. And we have to look at the new launches market. Let's just bring out this two on block clean park as well as Glora Mansion. If we look at the PPR that has been transacted right there, the PPR based on the land cost from the on block is about 1,200 plus for Flint Park and 1,300 plus for Glora Mansion. If I were to add in a $350 construction cost for developer plus another 30% for other expenses as well as their profit margin, their launch price is estimated to be at least $2,001 to $2,300 per square foot averagely. So what this means is that if they were to launch at that price and they get to sell it out within the next one to two years, when they TOP in about three years time, the first hand owners when they exit and let's say they just want to exit at $200 per square foot more than what they purchased, 
then we are going to see that this area is going to have those new projects that will be in the resale market asking for at least $2,500 per square foot. So from $2,500 to where we are at, that's close to about $900 odd dollars difference because we are all freehold in status. And that is how we look at one tier above us. If we look at one tier behind us, how the 99s are doing around us in this region, we need to segregate that into the low rise and the high rise. Let's just take two examples. One is Sea Hill, which is doing very well, beautiful projects with beautiful views. That being a high rise project, it has other sort of factors within it, but that is doing at $1,700 up per square foot. And this is at $1,500 plus per square foot. And if we compare by Quantum, just across the street, Varsity Park, to have two 2.5 million as you walk in there. At most, you can only get a single floor plate pre beta that is asking for at least 2.4 odd million dollars. So, this property right here with a duplex nature, three bedrooms, split level kind of concept, and yet you are getting a freehold property, I think this is something that really you should look at very deeply. So this is a dining space, an alternative dining space will be that area right there. You can put in a nice four-seater, probably a square table or longish kind of concept or maybe a nice round table will do as well. Where I'm standing right now, I'm actually floating in between the dining space as well as the third bedroom. Original floor plan, this is a two-bedroom on my left and right-hand side of the common bath behind me that's shared with these two bedrooms right here. This room is the smallest room. If you want to fit in a nice single with two side tables, that's doable. And if you look back at the original floor plan, the original wardrobe space was at this corner. So right now, our clients have transformed this into more like an open library. It has a full stretch of bookcase right here, but if you want to transform it back to the third bedroom, all you need to do is pump in close to perhaps about 4 to 5k, put in back the wall line, relocate your wardrobe, put in your furnitures, that's good to go. So if you to come here, this is where your common bath is located. Standing shower, same black and white kind of concept. In terms of the flooring right outside the roof terrace, uh, that's of course timber as well. And that's in sync with level one and level two space. As we come in, standard size, queen bed, side tables, water is original position. Ceiling height gives you the nice roomy feel at the same time, three panels window, which is a huge bonus that overlooks towards the lander and cliff and the pool. And now I think it's time for me to bring you up to level two. Let's go. Last panel, as you head up to level 2, that gives you a nice see-through kind of floating concept because you almost feel like there's no sort of like stairway handrails right here. Tempered glass, nicely installed. So as you come to level 2, entire space belongs to you. This is your full-on master room and that is how you visualize walking out. This is the space that you want to visualize. So I was talking about this space right there to put it as your outdoor kitchen. The key benefit is because you have this nice, beautiful shelter at the top. Because most of the time, penthouses, it's like an open space kind of concept, but this comes built and we just love this stack. Just have a look. I get to see the clear, beautiful sky. And something about D5 is that D5 has this little term called the University City. And a lot of the expatriates and tenants that are living here, as well as the old right here. They're either working in the NUS, NUH, or they're around Alexandra Tech Park, or they're working in Jurong as well. Okay, so you come in here with a cowboy door, black and white kind of concept. I like the dark kind of tiles at the bottom so that, you know, you don't have to worry about cleanliness too much and stuff. Standing shower space, huge, fantastic. And of course, ventilation windows, very important. And I also like the way that the space is being nicely planned and segregated. Talking about schools, these are the schools available. And most importantly, in terms of food, just across that street, right there is a row of shop houses with very nice local food and cuisine and the moment you head towards one north Buena Vista a lot of food outlets right there firstly what you can do as I mentioned at the start of this video install like a nice partition wall or sliding panel modify this panel right here to allow you to walk out into a roof terrace space if you want to keep your master room private and close out your curtains and then Basically, you can enjoy your entire space right there at the roof terrace deck with only this opening available. And 
And last but not least, to complete what I was sharing before on why some families love to buy bigger apartments compared to, of course, now the new kind of size for three bedroom. The key rationale is the appreciation in terms of quantum. So let me just bring back an example where I was comparing between freehold new launches, between the freehold that we are standing in, and of course, 99's project, is because just imagine if you are to enter into a property that is about a thousand square feet compared to this one, which is 1,475 square feet. Every $100 PSF increment in terms of the PSF pricing, this is the quantum level that will be increased, which in scenario A, you will increase in terms of a property value by 100,000. But in scenario B, this is going to increase by $147,000 uh, in totality. Let's just imagine the next five years on a hypothetical scenario, if both properties would increase by $200 per square foot, the quantum increment will be different because this will increase by about $290,000. This will increase by about $200,000. In terms of quantum value, the more PSF level that it increase, the bigger it is. And in terms of quantum appreciation, if you're hunting for something with a bigger kind of ROI, in terms of the overall value, then going for a bigger apartment while yet enjoying the space might be something that you need to look at. Now, last but not least, the maintenance fee is also kept pretty reasonable. This one, in terms of share value, is still about 400 odd dollars per month. So if you're hunting for a duplex penthouse, especially in D5, and yet at the same time, you want to keep your quantum that is below two and a half million. This is asking for 2.28, also below $1,600 per square foot, freehold in status, and uh, give a call to our listing managers, Jay and Michaela. The numbers are right down below in the links. And uh, if you have any questions, you can DM or drop us an email. My name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Bros. As always, happy to show the place. And meantime, take care. <clears throat> Test one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this is sleeping. Recently, she has been sleeping very late. Have a look at her. Look at her face, you look very twee. Because I they store the